good morning welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Kyra do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we are getting ready for our Pilates class this morning um I don't necessarily like to wash my face in the morning like that because obviously I'm gonna go sweat anyway but I definitely like to be a little glowy girl and I like to apply my good all by the sea eye gel patches because they just make my skin look glowy and I've seen such a huge I wear them every single morning if you aren't new here you see me talk about good all eye patches every single time i come on this vlog in the morning because it's just so important for me to do the necessary steps for me to take care of my skin and also including my under eye bags because girl i was struggling okay but they have lightened my under eyes so much and i actually just ran out world and i just re-upped recently on the green tangerine by the sea eye gel patches and basically it's a gelified version of my favorite vitamin c serum this is the green tangerine vitamin c dark spot serum by good all as well and as you can see she's love she, i love good all down they're the number one serum in korea girl look at how thin these eye gel patches are and they penetrate into your skin while you're wearing them by your body temperature so you're gonna get all those benefits girl this has a tangerine matrix sheet on here so it can stay on your skin because these are soaked in glycerin green tangerine niacinamide and also three hyaluronic acids and the best thing about these eye patches is that you don't need to have these on for 20 minutes all you need is five minutes baby you're gonna see it same results and one thing that i like to do is take the eye patch gel and girl put it on my smile lines because like i said i really don't wash my face um right when i wake up so I, but i still want to have a glow and this helps so much with brightening that area. And I just like to let this sit for a couple minutes. So I'm about to remove these. The glow is real. And what I've been loving to do is add the Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Circle Eye Cream. And this is just a peptide and a vitamin C to lock in all those nutrients. And also I like to put it on my lids as well. This is the biggest and the last sale of the year Good All will be having. So make sure you go shop these products on Amazon for up to 50% off before they sell out. Because like I said, you want to include this in your skincare routine. I've been using these for months now. And like I said, I love using them right when I wake up in the morning to give me that ultra glow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see it. You see it. And like I said, I've talked about this brand so many times, my favorite. So make sure you shop the links down below. And thank you so much, Good All, for sponsoring this video. Hey, y'all. I haven't even updated y'all yet. Anyway, so I'm about to go to this racetrack with Topicals. They invited me yesterday and i was like oh that sounds fun so i'm actually going and i had a meeting today and i'm actually inviting tasha was supposed to be my plus one but she canceled so um my homegirl i literally met today i was like girl you want to come so i'm about to go here right now um she just went home and i changed and i changed i just have on this full like diesel outfit um because we have to wear like something sporty and with sleeves sweatpants and then i have on sneakers i don't have any long sleeve shirts like none so i hope that's okay they said no tank tops or anything you had to have some sleeves and this is short sleeve right makes sense but um yeah i just threw on a little bit of makeup I threw my glasses back on i had um to meet her today at one o'clock so i was like kind of rushing because i was doing stuff early in the morning but um yeah now so we're gonna go to the racetrack and yeah i'm excited i'm gonna over now but yeah i'm just i feel so rushed but it's okay because we're gonna have a good time <laughs> Hey, one. I am so oh, excited. Girl, you're excited. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> you're excited? Yes. Period. Are you excited? I'm Come on, stoked. Chicago. You're so We're gonna have a ball. It's hard. Ball name, gang, gang. You gotta protect yourself. Uh, yeah. Can you hold my purse? Oh my God. 
Yeah. Y'all, we have to put all this gear on. We're a little right. late, but it's okay. Oh it's up. What we doing? It's up. What we doing? It's up and it's stuck. <laughs> Period. Are you ready for you? Yo, this is my gear. Yeah, like I'm supposed to be. What the f? Look at me, bro. <laughs> this on you? They're flying in that safety. You can do the iron finger and then the Lambo off there. Yeah, Lambo off there. Go into it. On the head side or you good? See the movie The Matrix? Um, yeah, I didn't really pay attention to it. <laughs> so we in the car with Mark. Hey, Mark. The plug, the plug is so that I'm going to plug in to this one. And okay. watch this. I watched Fast and the Furious you. though. Okay. Oh, so I can hear you because it's so fast. That's crazy. <laughs> so you're part of the film crew? Yeah. I, I just like had that. a. Yeah, he just drove. Uh, drove the. Uh, I need to get in the Lambo. Okay, well, we were in Ferrari. Yeah, Ferrari. Hey, I gotta uh -oh. get in. I'm, about to get real. I'm just kidding. I'll see you again. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm gonna do everything we do out on the track. Right now, I'm gonna go over everything, okay? Okay. Yellow cones, I'm gonna lift off the gas. Okay. And I'm gonna brake. Okay. Okay? Depending how fast we're going, I'll either give it a good firm push on the brakes or a little bit of brake. Okay. 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 I'm gonna stay three feet off the track at all times. Okay. I'm gonna aim for the orange and code to the green. Okay. There's tape out there that from the edge of the track in. That's our three foot rule. Okay. I'll try not to run it over. Okay. I try. try not to. Yeah, that's But if you word. do, it ain't me. Yeah, it well, ain't on me. That's right. <laughs> I'm Mark with Extreme Experience and I'm with? Kyra. Kyra. Kyra with a K. Kyra with Oh, is this recording? Okay, period. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm really ready. In this beautiful GTR. Don't now, if I go too fast, tap me on the shoulder. Okay. If you, if you feel sick, tap me on the shoulder. Okay. I will slow down immediately. Okay. Okay? Especially if you don't feel good. Okay. I'll no, I'm, right I think I tip. should be good. Okay. Don't just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pre, pre warning you. Okay. Right? Okay, Mark. <laughs> So do you love doing this? Oh yeah. Yeah, I used to race cars. Oh wow. I did that for over professionally for over 15 years. Wow, that's so crazy. Yeah. And then I got into this from one of my friends a few years ago. Mm. <laughs> did you win we go. in your races? Are we going? Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. <laughs> and over the green. Cool. I'm, Thank you. <laughs> this is crazy. Cool. This is my body cars now. Before and after and after and after. Oh, you want to pick the cars without your helmet on? Gotta say, how you feeling? Hashtag faded. Uh, good now, man. Yeah, that's why I'm feeling good. I'm going to my work hard. Let me see. Y'all, uh, why was that so crazy? First of all, that was a, it was a winded experience, okay? And I was like, faded, faded in the fast lane. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, faded in the fast lane because we wore our faded eye patches. And y'all know I love topicals, so definitely had to go with the fam today. It was so cute. Like, it was a cute little nighttime little date type thing i don't know it was a cute little like nighttime activity to go race cars like what i don't do that on a regular so i was like you know what let's just go let's just say yeah like let's just you know fill it out but it was so fun um it was with extreme experience so if y'all want to go ahead take your boo that loves cars look tap into um extreme experience they'll probably enjoy it this shirt makes my titties look 
ugly. Like, I don't like how saggy they look. Like, maybe I should wear a bra or something. I just didn't want to with this. I don't know. It's like not giving. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It's just like all this is like blank. Like a regular t-shirt, but like maybe like that. I don't know. But then it's like I just have nipple covers on. I don't know. This is a weird shirt. And it's like it makes me feel weird. <laughs> I'm about to take a shower. I had a long day, okay? And Aaliyah was so much fun. I'm so happy she was able to come with me. And yeah, I'm just really excited for things to come. My lips look great and I need to do a face mask tonight. So that's what I'm about to do. My camera looks so clear right now. But yeah, so I'm about to take a shower and figure out what I want to eat. I might make a tuna melt and call it a day, but I'm exhausted. But that was so much fun, like, wow. My lips look so good. This is your sign to dissolve your lip filler. Get that filler out, girl. Wow, they look amazing. Shout out to Bita. This is my first time looking at myself since I got my lips done for real, for real, like, and I can really notice like a difference. What the that i don't know about y'all but sometimes when i'm talking to people because i was like obviously in a setting where i was talking to hella people and just getting to know everybody i don't know about y'all but me i feel like my lips be getting so fucking dry and parched when i'm like talking does that make sense like what i'm <laughs> i'm like do my lips look crusty like while i'm talking to these people like and then i'm going like this and i feel like it's crusty but it's not i'll like look in the mirror and i'm like oh it's not crusty it's fine and then but I'm, I'm like talking and i'm like i hope my lips don't have no white ring around it or nothing do y'all be feeling like that <laughs> and then it's like okay let me get some lip gloss but then i feel like i'm putting on extra lip gloss and you know how like when you put on too much lip gloss it'd be like you know clunked up like right there in the middle and you don't want that while you're talking to people especially people that you're like meeting for the first time i don't know it's just weird whole time when i was talking to these people i'm like please don't let my lips look crazy that's why i'm really looking at my lips now like wow they look good but when i was talking to them i'm like girl go put you some lip gloss on go do a little retouch don't go do a little one too anyways i'm rambling let me um take a shower get myself together call the one but yeah today was so much fun y'all so i had to run and get my packages because y'all some lady in my damn building was stealing my packages i'm sorry to curse but now i cannot leave my packages sitting around so i have to hurry up and get them when they come so i ran downstairs and got my packages that i got and y'all these shoes i was actually really nervous about them because i returned those other loafers that y'all seen in the last vlog because i'm really trying to get in my loafer like swag and stuff like that and y'all y'all not ready to see these ah, they're so beautiful oh look at these these are fire they're so nice. Oh my God, the quality. These are my first Mason Margellas. Babes, what? Oh my God. I just tried one pair on and they're Gorgina. Like, what the hell? I thought I wasn't gonna like them, but I love, oh my God. And I love how it gives like a chicness to it. Y'all know the, 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 what is this called? Like, y'all know what Mesa Margiela be giving with the toes. Oh my God. And they're so comfy. I know these may not be everyone's jam, but these are cute. I like them. Just imagine what like wide leg pants, obviously like these, and then just these shoes, these mules, and they're slide-ons. I just wanted a slide-on loafer. And wow, these are beautiful. Gorgina. Anyways, let me get ready for bed. I'm exhausted.
y'all happy saturday we just got out of pilates class y'all coach jen class is so good she's starting to become one of my favorites and y'all she made a big statement today guess what her first song was to start the class off y'all i just wanted to cry she played freedom by beyonce and y'all know everything that's going on right now and it's just emotional time for us i swear this is the most emotional heavy on my heart like election because obviously it didn't go the way you know <laughs> a lot of majority of people wanted to actually i'm like it just didn't make sense it's not making sense to me it just didn't go how you know we thought it was gonna go but it's all right because sometimes things happen for a reason um nobody wants that orange in the office i just feel like in some way something is gonna happen and i just hope and pray it's a miracle it was just moving to me in class that she really played that song. So anyways, I'm on my way to the mall because I'm about to go to a Friendsgiving today. And I have to get some shoes to go with my dress. And my dress is so cute, y'all. This is something I've never, like a dress I've never worn before, like the style. So I'm pretty excited to wear it. I had to take it to the tailor though because they get it in a bigger size. So I needed to... Um, take some fabric off so hopefully it's right done right and i need to try that dress on there because if they have a mistake they need to fix it pronto asap super excited um to go to this this is with um lys beauty black beauty brands hello get to be in a room with beautiful black women today and i'm so excited for this dinner is promptly serving at seven and it starts at six so y'all know time be going so fast and time is never on my side so we starting early okay and i need to go get my nails done I love y'all so much and you know i just you know just been having an emotional week but we gonna get through this y'all like we always do period y'all so i just got to the mall and these are the shoes that i'm looking for y'all why i call myself order <laughs> the dupe of amazon the quality was so bad i had to return um so i'm just gonna get the original because i like how this is maroon but it looks brown you know what i mean and these are nasty oh don't play and it's in a baby heel is this a baby heel yeah yeah this is a baby heel right here and these ones are so cute oh my god like but let me um go ahead and try these on Ooh, these are cute too though but i don't like the tortoise buckle but this is fire well let me um go ahead and try a pair of these on baby this is a boot oh my god i just want somebody to take me on a shopping spree and let me spend whatever i want these are kind of cute too though I like these they're sexy they different I'm about to try her on this is a size 40 thank you so much and I don't want it to look too long if I got the 41 this is cute oh wow and they're a small heel, so they're not going to hurt that bad. So I'm about to get my hair done for the event tonight. I'm with my girl, Dallas. She got to wear a new sweet, y'all. So cute. Huh? I said every two years? No, literally. Like, new location, always on a pull up. <laughs> I was so flabbergasted, yeah, like I went to sleep. And I need to be so tough for Okay, we'll be right back. Sky Rizzi has proven. Hot oil treatment. 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 I wish I would have took a shower before I come in. I love this one. The one with the man. And I don't care if you gotta like 
some spray, extra hair spray for it to like last. Where you gonna take the pins? Y'all, she ate my hair the fuck up. What? And this is all my hair, y'all. No added pieces. Period. So um, now I'm about to go to the mall. So I made the decision. So y'all know I just got those kitten heels, <laughs> the YSL kitten heels. But I think I want the higher heel just to see. So I need to stop being a granny. <laughs> Honestly, I need to stop being a granny and be a grown woman. So I'm like, okay, let me just go try the higher heel. And then I still need to get my dress. I still, oh shit. I still need to get stockings. So let me just hurry up. But yeah, I gotta go to the other mall, but I am in love with my hair, y'all. It's so cute. Wow. This is why I need a glam squad at home. Because if I had a glam squad at home, like house calls and stuff, like obviously it's just so much better. Like you can just get dressed and like glam is already there. Like that's probably like if I was rich and famous, I would love, it's a must to have a glam squad at home. So I came to try on the shoes, the fabulous shoe. But y'all, he brought these out in my view. These are so out right now. And they're so comfortable, y'all. Like, and it's so hard for me to find like a shoe like this. Uh, I low key want to get both. But, uh, this is such a pretty shoe. I'm very comfortable. That's a guarantee. <laughs> Y'all, so we just got to the function. I'm with mm -hmm. Tasha. Let Hi. me show y'all her outfit. We was actually supposed to be twinning, little, but it I didn't did work tell out. Them that too. I oh, told you did? That, yeah. I didn't even tell them the update yet, but so cute. Did they BBX. See it up here? No. Oh, okay. So this is what I had to wear, y'all, since my dress. And she outfit. looks great. Do you guys see it? Is it giving like? And then let's get into the shoe, honey. Thank Do you. See, you that is yes. eleven pepper. Y'all, I gotta go with these tonight. She looks so good. This jumpsuit is a little big, but that's okay. It gives like ruched a little bit, like, you know, like. Hello? Mm -hmm.
literally my <laughs> biggest put your leg up. Don't stop it. <laughs> Y'all, so we just made it to the house. This is my favorite restaurant in Atlanta. Y'all, it's so good. My date. Hi. Hello. Sunny. One. Lots of lobster, please. Her. Two. Her. Here's the the bill. Her. Hey, babe. Y'all, when you come here, you gotta get lobster limo. It's the best thing on the menu. And we came here to get steaks to get a little, um, what is steak good for? Protein? No. No? What is that other thing in your blood? Iron. Iron. <laughs> Hey y'all, just got home from my workout and I'm actually about to get ready so I can go take some content. Um, y'all, I've been <laughs> neglecting, I don't even know if y'all have noticed, but I've been really neglecting my Instagram page and uh, I just feel so bad about it because it's just like, I've been posting sponsor content back to back to back and sometimes I can't help it. In the beginning, I, will, I love taking photos. Like I love just taking pictures and getting dressed. And I made it appear to myself that I wanted to do that and get back into that. Because when I first was growing my channel or following on Instagram, I literally would spend the weekend just getting dressed and taking photos. Not even going nowhere necessarily, just wanted to take photos because that's what I like to do. And I still like to do that, but it just has been hard for me to balance out YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Like, I balance out three social media platforms, right? Most people are probably balancing out one or two, which is cool because Instagram is just like an occasional, like, you'll post like a little dump and stuff. I don't even post dumps no more. Like, that's crazy. Y'all know dumps was my thing. And I don't even do that no more. <laughs> and so... I'm like, you know what? I need to make it a priority to get some photos this week and just create like I normally do for my audience. So I'm like, let me just get ready for the day, get cute, because I already have to film a TikTok video and stuff for a brand. But I'm like, you know what? Let me get some content for me. Let me do what I like to do too. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I think like, I, I will never tell myself that I can't do something because I can do this. It is hard, but I can do it. It is manageable and it is something that I need to take prioritize and getting everything organized because I ain't organized at all. But I will never tell myself, I cannot do this. I cannot. Because, yes, you can. You can do anything that you set your mind to. I've learned this, especially every single job that I've ever worked. I know I can do something, especially if I put my mind to it. This Adobe speech that I'm getting ready for, it is scary. It's so uncomfortable for me, y'all. Like, I've been practicing all week. And I actually have to finalize my slides and turn them in. But I'm going to still keep practicing at it. And sometimes we may sometimes not be ready necessarily, but sometimes we have to be ready. You know what I'm saying? It may not feel like you're ready, but sometimes you just got to be, you know. And I watched this movie called Wild Robot. It's like a DreamWorks movie. It was so cute. It was like a little animated movie. And it was like a duck get him ready to fly but a robot was raising him so he really the mom didn't know how to really raise him but she tried all these different things to get him ready to fly you know hibernate for the winter and stuff so it was his first time flying and he was like on his way to fly he was like and she was like are you ready he was like not really but i guess i have to be <laughs> and that like resonated with me 
sorry i got a little emotional there but it just feels so uncomfortable for me to get all these new opportunities coming my way which i've asked for and which i know i can take on but it's just a feeling of you don't feel qualified you feel nervous uncomfortable and you know god wouldn't give it to you if he wasn't ready for it you know what i'm saying inside you feel that but god sent it to you because he knows you're ready it's just a process um so yeah i'm just grateful and i'm just you know i know i can handle everything that's going on right now and i just want to still make sure my audience knows that they are still important <laughs> I just want my audience to make sure they know that they're still important to me. It's just a lot going on. I don't know why I'm emotional today. But anyways, that's all I had to say. I don't know what the f is wrong with me. But anyway. <laughs> um. But yeah, let me get ready. But yeah, I just don't want y'all to ever feel neglected. Or I just feel like I'm posting things like back to back of a sponsored stuff i just need to make it a priority to create content that i love and post stuff that y'all love so because that's why y'all follow me in the first place you know what i'm saying my hair is so thick so as y'all can see like at the um i didn't even i don't even think i talked about um what went down at the um friends giving um because baby the next day i was definitely recovering because those espresso martinis they had an open bar caught up to your girl the next day and also the spicy mark was so good 10 out of 10 i met the owner of list beauty she was so beautiful everybody at the event was so beautiful i met the whole team and just all the creators in there it was just a really fun time and it was such a beautiful friendsgiving I had a performer and they also gave us goodie bags to gift out i was gonna unbox it on camera but like i said y'all the day the next day i had to recover i was just not feeling the vibe was so dehydrated i just took the day off but the whole look y'all the hair the hair and this is all my hair y'all like it's so thick she didn't have to add no like extra um hair or nothing to make it full and i was really shocked and surprised and i'm like wow like the growth is really real y'all seeing it in real time in real life this ain't no wrap in my cap okay i'm really sticking to my hair routine and doing what i need to do like take my hair vitamins all that like i've never i feel like i've never seen my hair this thick before like it's crazy but i am gonna bump um it out like this today for the look that i want to go for um but i'm just doing a light beat right now i'm trying to find my refi where is it for my eyebrows where the is it ew i don't know why i just cried ew that's actually disgusting i'm so sorry y'all i just love y'all so much and i'm just so appreciative for everybody in my life y'all included it's just i just want to make everybody happy including myself but y'all gotta go watch that movie um wild robot it was so cute like <laughs> i am a disney girl through and through i'll watch disney movies all day just especially to make me feel good i actually watched it um the day i took my day off when i was recovering the next day from um the next day from the friends giving but it was so cute and i love going to these social social events because i get to see creators i don't see on a regular basis and i just get to connect with them catch up and do all that and then also y'all y'all probably have seen the photos i took some photos for instagram but y'all the night was like you know how like <laughs> you start drinking and you don't even really know how it's looking but i was still looking good after i was drinking made a couple stops went to holiday bar y'all holiday bar is cracking okay i didn't know it'd be cracking like that but i do want to go on the weekend um because they give they're giving out um unlimited espresso martinis so and y'all know that's my thing but it's only like 9 a.m to like 11 a.m <laughs> so it's like giving five o'clock somewhere okay holiday bar is really cracking like and i've met a few of y'all out there i was like wow 
it's lit out here period that's definitely because i haven't been really in the mood to stop at any of the lounges y'all know we used to be outside going to hookah lounges and stuff and it like gets old really fast and then after that we went to um the same regis because the same regis is beautiful y'all especially to get content so if you're somebody who loves like a set of back backgrounds and stuff the bathroom baby go in the bathroom go in the bathroom you're going to love it in there okay it's so it's marble everywhere in like gold accents it's it's so beautiful in the bathroom so i took tasha's photos from the bathroom and then i took my photos outside the bathroom and i had this big ginormous light and <laughs> the people um that worked there there i guess they were watching the security cameras they kicked us out girl but i still got the content okay period <laughs> i did not care i was like like i said i want to make it a priority to post stuff that i like i don't want to neglect y'all i don't want to neglect my instagram at all because that's initially my first um platform where i started posting my content at and ever since I, it was like a, a feature on Instagram where it was like, oh, you can remove your followers. And I did that and I removed like 17K followers, y'all. 17K. And ever since then, my shit has not moved at all, but it's all right. And I'm like, it's probably because I haven't been posting nothing that I actually like to post. So that's why. We're making a priority today to get cute, get ready, and get some content. So I'm just gonna do a light little beat, and then when I get to my hair, I'm gonna um check back in with y'all. Just got the face together. It's such a light beat, but y'all know the look don't never come together until the lip combo is on. So my favorite right now is I love using the Fenty Extra Thigh, y'all. I love a cool tone brown liner and it's so buttery and the crazy part about the Fenty lip liners is that they do not move as soon as you apply them for the day baby is there all day I just like to blend it out I'm so happy I dissolved my lip filler like it just looks so much better and if y'all have ever got sculpture before, let me know. Because I'm looking into getting a sculpture treatment. So basically, it's like they inject something to stimulate collagen. So it really like contours the face. and it, But it's using your own collagen. So it's really nothing like crazy and like foreign into your body and i want to try it so if you've tried it before let me know in the bo the before and afters i've been seeing are crazy it's like night and day like if you have like saggy skin it like sucks it up and that's what i need <laughs> um because i'm noticing a little bit of sag on this side of my face you can't see it right now for real but i just want to prevent it but anyways and then i go in with this fashion nova lipstick in the color tone mm, it's like the prettiest nude so cute i gotta make a video on this <laughs> actually i'm gonna do that today when i come back Ugh, it's just like just enough nude i'm gonna put a little bit more and then I'm going to top it off with the NARS Turkish Delight. The prettiest, lightest, nudist pink. It's so good. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Y'all cannot tell me. This lip combo don't eat. Like what? Period. Just gonna set my face. And have y'all smelled this new lamb comb perfume? They sent it to me. Um, and y'all, this smells so good. Mm. It's giving mature, sexy, elegant, like all the things. But it's giving like daytime vibes. But I could definitely mix that with like a oud or something. 
and it's giving. But I'm about to just set my face. We finna do our hair and get dressed and get cute. And y'all, this L'Oreal Inflammable, your makeup will not go there nowhere. I wore this the other night. Like I told y'all, I was looking good still. And I was like, oh, I can still get some photos. This is like a one size dupe. Mm. Tasha um, put me on this when we were in New York. I was like, yeah, I need that. Whew. But I just did like a light little, be a little one too. She's cute. Um, oh yeah, let me go do my hair. And then we'll get dressed. Okay, y'all, so I just got dressed. I look so cute, y'all. These um, glasses are from Amazon. This tank top is Amazon. But this jacket, though, the jacket is the moment. This is from an Australian brand. It's called Henne. And then my Levi jeans that I'm so obsessed with. Okay, period. Um, and then I just have on my Hermes slides. I got these when I was in London. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with these. I'm finally getting to wear them because it's a little chilly outside. And then um, I just have on my Dior saddlebag. And this is cute. Like, it's giving you coffee. And then watches from, like, regular jewelry and stuff. But, yeah, we're on our way out. It's so cute. I don't even remember the last time I got day dress, for real. Um, so, I'm excited about this so and i feel good i feel amazing and oh um i put on the lancome mixed with the killian smoking hot and then um i added mason margella uh replica jazz club just to have a little warmth in there but this is the outfit she's cute even though these are two different oranges it doesn't matter it's monochromatic okay but yeah and um i gotta change my memory card so um i gotta film for that but yeah y'all we cute y'all so i gotta come with a ootd for today i don't even remember the last time i got dressed for that but it's giving so jazz club yeah it's giving it's giving the vibes and then my hair this is all me baby okay all these tresses on me okay no added pieces give me full Mm-hmm. Alright y'all, so I just came to Bar Premium to get my content. We look so cute. Like, I'm obsessed with this outfit. And so, I got a pistachio croissant. And then I got the cortado, which is like just an espresso with milk. And then I sweeten it with a little bit of vanilla. And y'all, y'all have to come. If you come to Bar Premium, you have to get this sandwich right here. This is the artichoke sandwich, and they have potato chips that they make in house that are so freaking good they taste like kettle chips salted to perfection they're so thin and yeah mm -hmm. but anyways it's such a beautiful day outside i just had to let y'all know what was going down cheers my only coffee for the week right here right now y'all know we're not doing that this year. Okay? Like, hey. Hey, y'all. Good morning. I just came back from my Pilates class. Y'all see them abs? You see it. And y'all, yesterday, I did not bring y'all with me. Well, I, I did bring y'all with me. I just didn't bring this camera. But I brought my Osmo. 
I finally got this camera. I was gifted it. I went to the coffee shop yesterday. I got some fire photos, good content, got everything I was supposed to do. And I actually felt good dressing up, like getting ready, getting ready for the day and just going outside, touching some grass. And it just, it felt good. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was really at peace, y'all. Like the park was so pretty. I went to the park by um, Ponce because that's where the bar premio is connected to the fourth hotel. I love that coffee shop. Y'all gotta check it out because the vibes are there. Y'all gotta try the artichoke sandwich. I've been told y'all about this sandwich and I met some supporters there. It was just a good time. <laughs> so today I'm just gonna spend the day practicing my Adobe speech. Um, getting some work done and um, we have a welcome dinner today at Saints and Council, which is one of my favorite restaurants actually. It's a hidden gem y'all. They got the best brunch. It's so freaking good on Sunday. And they also have a live violinist. Y'all, he be, gee, he be in there, look at my Bob, But no, he be in there playing that violin down. And he be playing like Glorilla, Rihanna, Beyonce, like R&B hits. Like he, he's lit, okay? He be playing all the freaking hits. Cheers. I'm about to take my coconut cult. Y'all, let me tell you. Okay, if you have gut problems, I'm telling you, please get this coconut cult. Like obviously y'all probably seen this all over TikTok. Y'all, it's so good. The benefits are definitely real. I've been going to the bathroom regularly and I just feel so much slimmer. You know what I'm saying? When you, you're not bloated, it helps so much with bloating, y'all. It has done wonders. So please go try this. You may not like the chocolate mousse one. I know some many people don't like this one, but I have the strawberry one on its way and a different flavor. It's like baked brownie or something. But I mean, it's gonna take on Anki Shine. Don't eat this after you brush your teeth because it can taste sour. And I see how some people gag. I know that may sound nasty, but just take it right when you wake up, girl. Yeah, I'm about to make me some breakfast, some avocado toast. And yeah, I just had to check in with y'all um, and let y'all know we're doing amazing. Happy Wednesday. And let's make this breakfast. just checking in you can't really oh this lighting is terrible one second hey y'all so i just got out the shower i cleaned up my house all day today can't really show y'all like my full body because i'm a little naked but i wanted to show y'all my little bun i just put in with my hair because i wanted to switch it up for tonight um but yeah i'm about to do my makeup and then i'm actually meeting <laughs> with the adobe team and then of adobe's influencers and then um the other speaker her name is corey dope illustrator dope graphic designer and she's a content creator as well so yeah i get to meet her today and it's gonna be all good vibes yeah but i'm just trying to hurry up because i don't want to be late and i put together some gift bags that I'm gonna give away tomorrow at the events, which I'm pretty excited to give somebody because I have so much PR and I just can't wait to, you know, cause you know, I'm blessed enough to be able to do this and, you know, receive pre free product. 
but a lot of people aren't that fortunate so it's just always nice to get back and do these small giveaways as much as I can um but yeah so um let me hurry up I only have about not even 30 minutes it's not seven o'clock yet though so we good um but yeah I'm just gonna do a quick beat similar to what I did yesterday and then go from there quick little outfit check i just have on my normal brown jacket because we're sitting outside so she told us to bring a coat um these boots i got from zara recent pickup they're like a brown suede and then this brown these brown leggings and the tank top underneath is from my outfit online get the going maybe it has to be more cinched in or not i don't know i have to go bye um, I'll check with y'all once we get to the Saints Council. Hey girl, it's the next day. Y'all, I slept in my makeup, y'all. I got so fitzy last night. But it was such a good vibe, such good energy. And I just love like the Adobe team. The atmosphere was amazing. The other creators, it was just 10 out of 10. And y'all need to go to Saints and Council. Okay, baby. I've never had that salmon before, but girl, the salmon was busting. Let me tell you, the all the food was so freaking good the fried cauliflower we had for a starter and then we had like a little spread of a, a charcuterie board and the drinks were so good the garden of eden was so good Corey had that and i was like oh let me try that and it was 10 out of 10 it has gin in there um what else like the dessert the blondie the sh what was it vanilla shortbread or something i don't know but baby that dessert was so good and we had um what else we have that's pretty much it but everything was 10 out of 10 um the vibes were 10 out of 10 like it was just such an amazing time just to be social and meet so many different creators it's so many people talented people in the world y'all like it's so crazy and it's just a beautiful thing to experience like other people's journeys and just you know just 
think like wow everybody has their own life but essentially we all live the same life it's just crazy like people are so creative and it's just so beautiful to see and experience but today is speech day <laughs> and i'm a little like not nervous not gonna lie i'm not nervous because i did pray i did pray to just you know let god shine in me live in me so he can shine through me and just shine over the audience and i just want my whatever i say to get relayed to the the audience and it's gonna do what it do and i did volunteer to go first something told me to just go first like because if i look at other people's speeches and first of all i'm not an illustrator i'm not a crazy graphic designer or anything like that so everybody else's speech is so like probably so different from mine because i am just a content creator but Corey is actually an illustrator and a content creator but it doesn't matter i don't want to second quest quest my, uh, second guess what i'm saying um just because of somebody else's speech so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go first get this over with and my gut is just telling me to go first like i always listen to my gut i'm very intuitive and i'm like you know what i'm gonna just listen to what my body is telling me to do so but yeah i'm so excited i look so crazy right now i'm about to take a bath um i'm about to relax i just practice my speech i'm not gonna press practice it again because i don't want to overthink nothing i just want to show up deliver the message me some y'all go home <laughs> and oh my god once this speech is over i'm gonna feel like a weight is lifted off of me i'm like <sighs> <sighs> if the world was in i'm gonna be then and it's like oh <laughs> Who's gonna tell them that the job had one of them black jobs? No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm just so like excited. Honestly, like I don't have any like anxiety, no heaviness in my chest. Thank God. I'm about to take these magnesium vitamins, and I just did some thumb practice, um, some tongue practices too. I was like, Ugh. I love to <laughs> practices, <laughs> some mouth practices, so I can articulate my words. I, I'm just, you know, I just want to put in the effort so I can deliver the message, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just going to relax for the rest of the time. I blast some Beyonce. And, yeah, actually, I'm going to blast some gospel. It was so crazy. I'm, I'm getting ready to log off my, of my phone, like, don't be on social media. And just, you know, enjoy the day. And, um... Ew, why am I gonna cry? Y'all know how some people make these pages with, um, what? They make the pages with like Twitter quotes on them and stuff, or like just a quote on top of it. And somebody um, posted me on their story and it says, it's my time, it's my season. So that kind of gave me confirmation for today. Um, that you know just embrace this journey just embrace everything that's going on and you got this and yeah so <sighs> okay well i'll talk to y'all once i get dressed and i'm headed over to the events space so yeah i'm doing a sound check at like four o'clock and just gonna rehearse like probably one time <sighs> but yeah it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Y'all, so I just got dressed. This is the outfit and I got flowers. I just have on my blazer that I love so much. It's like an oversized blazer. It's from a Kyra, I believe it's called. And then these trousers are from Rayonia. Rayona. I love these trousers, y'all. Y'all gotta get into them. They already have like a waistband on them. And then I just have on my Mason Margiela's. I still have to take these to the leather place um, cause I wanna get some hard soles at the bottom cause they are a little slippery. Um, and I just wanna protect the sole at the bottom. 
this is the outfit and I just have on fairy jewelry so I'm gonna head over to the venue and y'all I'm up first I don't know if I said this but yeah I volunteer to go first so I gotta do a sound check um but the event doesn't start till 5 30 and it's only like bus before so let's go We're at Adobe, we're doing a little sound check, and we are just chilling right now. I got a little white claw, and we're just chilling, we're just waiting Let me get a yes for this moment. Yes! Okay, we're going to do some giveaways, and then after that we're going to make the drinks going again, the food going again, the music going again, and let you mingle and network before we close it out with some good vibes. Does that sound good to you? Perfect, Thank perfect, you. perfect. Paul's work is you can really see all the different ways that he has okay. utilized our different apps. Okay, we're just gonna get started because we're on the time crunch. Okay, so I have a social media platform and I started this journey back in 2018 and I was actually going through a breakup when I first uploaded my first YouTube video. And you know, when you go through a breakup, you know, you're not gonna have one up on me. I'm gonna focus on myself and pour into my own cup. So that's exactly what I did. And I'm from a small town, Racine, Wisconsin, for reference. And yeah, Midwest girlies, where you at? <laughs> I just wanted more for myself. So I moved to Atlanta, Georgia in 2021. And at the time, I was still experimenting. Um, finding my niche and just having fun with content and just trying to figure out what I wanted to express and show the world basically and I had to trust the process yeah as you can see yeah the content upgraded don't don't play <laughs> for all that trust in the journey process you're going to elevate evolve and grow so you just have to trust the journey and it's all going to work out and I use Adobe Photoshop like Elise was saying on my phone I use a Photoshop Express and I've used that to make my thumbnails. I pretty much I'll always upload on YouTube. That's my pride and joy, long form content. I know y'all probably into the short form, TikTok, all that. But I take pride into uploading on my YouTube channel. So I make thumbnails on Adobe Express. And I'm always trying to attract new audiences and grow my following. I'm definitely gonna be using that distraction because I, this is a screenshot from a video actually. So I use Photoshop. To, and generative AI to remove the background because I always want to be main character, hello. And um, as you can see, the TV is a little bit of a distraction. The light panel is a lot going on, okay? 
and I just take a screenshot and then I upload it in Photoshop and I use generative AI to remove it and then I upload it back into my photo editing software so we can be main character because the body is body. <laughs> And just because I like to make my content look pretty and cute, I still like to be unapologetically myself. And that's gonna grow your community. Community is so important in this space. And nobody's perfect. So if you want to start content creating, just post what is aligned to you and your brand. Because at the end of the day, we all live the same life, literally. I know you be scrolling on that phone, are looking at some content that you relate to and you be like, yep, that's me, mm -hmm, I found my people. Just upload what aligns with you and your content because who is for you will find you. <laughs> I always like to, I don't get keep with my girls and I always love to post cohesive content on my Instagram story. So I use Photoshop to make collages and basically show my girls what I'm interested in or, you know, what I'm liking, what I'm buying, and so they can click the link in. I just like to make it aesthetically pleasing to the eye. The biggest takeaway I want y'all to get from this is please don't overthink your content. My most viral videos are the ones I really don't think about at all. Like, I just wake up and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna post this, and it goes viral crazy. And the, the stuff that I plan, it does, it does okay. But it doesn't give like viral moments. So don't overthink your content. Just create the moment. You don't know if you're the next big thing or not. So please do not let your mind trick you out your spots. Because you can be the next big thing, okay? Do not let your mind trick you out your spot and just post the content. I'm going to put my girl on blast. I actually met her in the bathroom. She's a graphic designer. She was like, oh, I want to get into content creation, but I don't want to I go for other people, but I don't show up for myself. You answer the question right there. Show up for yourself. Post that content, girl. And yeah, that's all I have for y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kyra, not Kira. <laughs> All right, Kyra. Kyra, Kyra. 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 Can we give it up for Kyra and Corey B? Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna make this fast. I know you wanna drink, you wanna eat. You're not really here for me. I know, I know. Do you want some free stuff? Do you want some free stuff? All right, all right. We're going to do our giveaway. So you are ready.
need a gold? Oh. <laughs> Where you at, Nina? Okay, after we wrap up, come find Rachel and she'll get you your subscription, okay? Alright, it must be ladies night. Just let you know, first things first, please keep track of us. Subscribe to Discord, fill out the survey so we can come back. But I'm about to let you network, mingle, drink. We're gonna open the food back up because some of you cuss me out for closing down the food. I heard you. You might be right, you know, we gotta get them back on the you know what. Okay, you know what really so we're gonna bring the swag surf back. Let's do it. We can't turn the lights up. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
I overcame a new challenge. And it was just crazy. Y'all told me I get a, get a such a good job. And that made me feel so good because this is my first time. And it was just a weight lifted off my shoulders that I really did that. So this is just a message. If you're scared to do something, it's a good thing. We're all human. We're all going to feel it. We're all going to get nervous. And that's okay. As long as we just press it on go, ain't no stopping us. That he's okay. Good morning, y'all. It's a couple days later. Um, as y'all can tell, I'm, I'm going through a phase right now. I'm going through a appeal phase right now because y'all last week stressed me out going through <laughs> this new chapter in my life. My face started breaking out. It's hormonal, so I'm getting going through a peel. But I definitely have all my good all patches on, my good vitamin C under the eye. Y'all know I love these. I wear these all the time. So make sure y'all shop good all. It's the biggest sale yet. It will be linked down below, girl. Do not miss out on this because you need your under eye patches. You need your vitamin C cream, all that. And yeah, I just wanted to wrap up this video and just thank y'all so much for the support. Um, when I posted on Instagram that I finally did my speech, y'all was just showing so much love. And I just can't wait for this new chapter. So if you're going through something, a transition in your life that you knew that needed to happen. And like I said before in the beginning of this vlog, God won't give you the opportunity if you weren't ready. Opportunity meets preparation. So the universe knows you're ready for it. That's why they give you the opportunity. You know what I mean? So, opportunity meets preparation, girl. God is preparing you for what you deserve and what's in store. So, don't let anybody hold you back from what God wants you to have. Period. Not even your own self. Getting out of your comfort zone. Do not let it hold you back. Embrace the journey. Embrace the process. It's, it's, it feels new. I was going through all the emotions the whole week. I was crying, tearing up because... It's unknown. It's a unknown what is about to happen. All we have to do is just keep faith that all th good things are about to happen. You know what I'm saying? Cause baby, let me tell you this. Your next step could be your best step. So embrace getting out your comfort zone, girl. Embrace it, enjoy it. Yes, it's unknown, but it's not the wrong step to take. So I had to embrace the journey. No matter how hard it got, no matter how difficult my body was telling me in my mind that it was going to be the worst day of my life, but it actually was like the best day of my life that I got over this hump. So, but yeah, so I'm just so happy and I can't wait to see what the future holds and I'm so excited about it. I'm excited about the unknown yeah y'all that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one